Mr. Baharlu, you and your son Rod just finished a movie by the name of Devolution. What does devolution mean? What do you think devolution means? Opposite of revolution. This year we are going to have <clears throat> a 40% national growth at constant prices, which is more than twice almost three times the world record which was held by the Japanese. I did criticize the president because of our undercutting of what was a stalwart ally, the Shah of Iran. And I did think that it was a blot on our record that we let him down. How long did it take you to edit this project, Rod, approximately? <laughs> 20 hours a day. Yeah. I have literally worked over 4,000 hours on this editing. Way over. And I mean, it, I've worked my entire life. It's, it's never, I've never felt tired doing it. That's the thing. And that's the reason I was able to do it so much. To me, there's nothing I would rather do. Our main thing with Devolution is to put it in a format that is accepted by my generation as well. Mm -hmm. And we don't just talk about Iran. That's the one thing I wanted to add is most, uh, most people who, like to, who want to describe the situations that happened in Iran f purely focus on Iran. Well, as well as we, we all know that when you want to see a true perspective of something, you have to look at it in an overall geopolitical sense. You have all to angles. see how this country is connected to so many other countries. Who was the top dogs? Who wasn't? You have to look at it all in the overall picture. How was it working with your father? It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> look, let me just no, answer let, this one. <laughs> let, let, let me tell you. That, look, this... The positive thing is that, that there is nothing more valuable to me to be able to connect with my children mm -hmm. and to really work as a team with someone. Look, I have worked with you. Mm -hmm. I have worked with them. But I have not been able to work, to have a common ground with my children. And then I was lucky that I got out of the OA that I had an opportunity to work with my children as a team, and we clicked in an imaginable way. That that's why we cannot even separate to say who did what. With my, other, my younger son, mm -hmm. he's a musician, and he's, he's a composer, okay? You will see his great music. And we are also driving force for him. And he is for us. So he, have a, he, he, had a, he had the music aspect of the movie? We have some of my brother's music in yeah. the movie, yes. Which creates, like I said, a whole new twist to these type of movies. Look, the world was more progressive before the Iranian Revolution. You look at the, look at the music, look at the, 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 the movies, mm -hmm. look at where the humanity was heading. Something wrong happened. And everybody had to follow the, this revolution. But we took the lion's share, as usual, because we were the underprivileged country. They are responsible. They should know the responsibility. They should know that they have been lied by their own government, by their own media, or whether somebody, or by their own cartels, companies, big companies, big business. I don't have all the answers, but they, they, this movie stimulates your, your thoughts mm -hmm. to look for answers. Not just say that, okay, 
it's so because Washington Post said so. How do you think it's going to be perceived as far as your generation, our generation? Um, I think that my generation is on um, prove it to me. That's how they act, you know. Um, part of our research was gathering thousands of government documents that were recently declassified from the CIA, from um, John F. Um, I'm sorry, from John F. About John F. Kennedy from the um, Richard Nixon Library, from the Gerald Ford Library, and the National Security Administration, um, National Security Archive. So I have um, gathered in upwards of 3,000-ish documents that directly discuss Iran. How do you think your generation will see your movie, Devolution? Look, they, this is a very stubborn Generation. Your generation they, is stubborn? Yes, because they, were, they made a mistake, and it's very hard for Iranians especially to admit that they made a mistake. But they should actually open their eyes after all and say that, look, not only we did this devolution to ourselves, but to the generations to come, to the next generation and generation after. How do you think this movie will be perceived by Iranians outside of Iran versus Iranians who are living in Iran right now and have only been in Iran and have never stepped out of Iran. Outsiders still, they have forgotten what they have done. They say, oh, it was not our fault. It was Khomeini who came and just stole our revolution. Inside, they are living in pain. They are living in a state of health, so they know what, that they have done something wrong and they are in a state of despair and depression. I'm trying to tell them, listen, you don't have to kill yourself. Okay, everybody makes, makes mistake. Our mistake was a big mistake. But if we find our mistake, there is a way to just go back find and start all over. I think that the generation outside of Iran will be awoken. I think they'll understand where we were. I think they've all been hit with so much negative condensation about Iran that they're afraid to admit their own heritage. This is painful to me, in all honesty. The Iranians inside Iran, I think they'll take it as a very, as a breath of fresh air to realize that, hey, there are people that still care about Iran. There are people that are still trying. And there's people that love them. I mean, in honesty, this is why we're doing what we're doing. Look, that's actually one thing that has kept us going. moving, going, is from the minute, from the beginning, when people heard that we are making this movie, mm -hmm. from inside Iran, in Europe, here, everybody was supportive. They knew that somehow they, had, they trusted me to see that I'm not going through something that I don't believe in it. Because they, it was my reputation with Iranian that I never lied to them. Mm -hmm. So they, had, they put their trust on me. When making the movie together, when you guys were working, were there times where some scenes were just hard? you know, to watch again. Um, I've cried many times watching yeah. this movie. I'm, I'm, you know, people say, you're a man, you're not supposed to cry. But, you know, in my opinion, you know, in order, that's the only way you can lighten your load sometimes. What, is there somebody narrating the story? Yes, and you have the best narrator. Really? Yeah. Can you reveal it or you want to wait until? And he perished at the hands of those who called their terrorism a holy mission assigned to them by God. This gentleman is right sitting by you. Yeah? He is impeccable on that art of narration. narration. Yeah. How does that feel, Rod? I mean, from coming from a person like my father with the experience that he has, it's, I'm speechless and that doesn't happen too often. With my, <laughs> I'm very... <laughs> what did you learn? What did you see different about Rod 
during this process. And I've never seen someone with that much of dedication that Rod showed me this side, this side of him that somehow I was missing. Through this movie, I've got to understand not just my father's heart, but his mind as well. And that was a beautiful thing for me. And every single person who is in any work of human rights or trying to make the world better is doing it because of a pain that they have within themselves. Either it's a personal pain or it's a pain that you see for your whole of people, but mostly it's a personal pain that causes this. I believe that, you know, not just making this movie has helped, it has helped us clear some of our own personal pain. And that is awesome. That's great. And I won't trade that for anything, you know? Realizing Iran lacked the skilled professionals necessary to accomplish these modernization plans, another plan was developed to train Iranians as specialists in various sciences and technologies. How can people see your movie? This is, these are the kind of things that we are still working on. Working on it, thinking about it. Actually, I, I want, should it be on, like on TV as, as like miniseries? Should it be on, but one thing I know that we, we provide eventually people, because look, people like in Iran, in Europe, everywhere. Okay, we want to make sure that they have access to that. And I want to, make DVD. But until we figure out how we're going to do it, we just put up a website, devolutionmovie.com, and we will be, you know, once we, um, right now we're waiting to hear back from a, fact, a, a distributor or a factory or somebody who's making our DVDs for us, exactly how long that's going to take, and, you know, we're just going to set that up. So we're in the final stages of the um, DVD sales and um, that will be available on our website shortly. Okay, we look forward to it. I am eagerly <laughs> looking forward to it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Mr. Bohardo.